Hi, welcome back. On this video here, we are going to be learning about sessions. Now, just to give you an idea, sessions are really a way to get users' information. Now, let me compare the two with let me compare it with cookies. You see, cookies save information. We set a cookie in the user's browser, right? And we we set some information there. We have a actually a limited amount of information that we can set in the browser. But the idea is that we set some information, and when the user comes back to our application, we pull that information and process it, right? Well, sessions work very similar to that. Now, what we do is we create a file, right? By just starting a function, and I'm going to show you the function. We create a file in our server to save the user's information and then when the user comes into that specific page or application we set a cookie in their browser with a reference to the file that we have on the server so that way the user's information is going to be saved in our server so we can save a lot of information instead with cookies we can just save a little bit of information because we are saving that information in the user's browsers, not in our server. So we have more control over storage. But anyway, let me show you exactly how sessions work. Let's go ahead and open our co-editor. Let's do a save as on this blank.php and let's call it session one. All right. So we have it called session one here. Now, the way we start a session. All right, the way we we tell you know PHP, okay, let's let's go ahead and start doing some things. Let's start opening, making files and doing all this. All right, so we create a session start. This is how we start it up. Right here. Now this is going to tell this is going to go to the browser and make a file. So when the user comes here on this page here and then we're going to open it right here is going to open right now. Boom, that session, that file is already created and the cookie is set in this browser already. And I'm going to show it to you right now. So let's go to, I'm using Chrome by the way. Let's go to history, actually not history, I'm sorry. Not history. Let's go to settings. Let's go to show advanced settings. Let's go to content and all cookie site data. All right, so you see this local host, this is us and then we click here we got a cookie you see that and then this cookie has a reference to a session we click on it and this content right here this row right here is the reference that we need so when right now right this is the reference to the file that we have in the server and we can start putting data in there and then every time the user comes in this case it's us every time we come to this page we can reference that file in the server and pull the information from there. All right. So now that this is created, what I want to do is, all right, I want to set some values here. And these values that I'm going to set, I'm going to save in this session, I'm going to carry over to another page. This is what sessions are good for. If you want to carry values to another page, and you want to say you don't want to personalize an application for example and maybe give the user a message on the I don't know the thank you page and say hey, listen thank you for coming or whatever you can use sessions to keep track of that information all over your application but now let's go ahead and do this you can also use cookies but like I said sessions you can save a lot more data now it really does have disadvantages and advantages but we're not gonna go into details right now first let's go ahead and create let's create some information in this session and this is how we do it just very similar to the post and the get I'm gonna call this greeting reading I'm gonna set a message to this here saying hello student All right that's it All right. so now this session here is gonna have this value here is gonna have a value here all right, it's gonna have this associative array greeting here. Is the value is gonna be hello student? All right. Now let's make another page. Let's make a second page. All right, and I'm gonna do a save as and call this session to dot php. I'm gonna save it. All right, and then here what I'm going to do. Let's go here. Of course, I got an arrow here. 
Well, let's go to the first one. It's actually session one. And let's see the... <coughs> All right. On session two here, I want to take this off. There we go. And here, I'm, all I'm going to do in the session two is echoing the information that we're going to set on the first session one. So let's go to session one and let's find it right here. All right. All right. Now, another thing that I want you to keep in mind that this session start needs to be on every page that you're going to be using sessions on. Always. All right. Because you need to actually tell uh, PHP that you will be using. Uh, sessions all right so make sure that this is started all always so let's go to the first page here I'm gonna click enter I have a, a mistake here somewhere syntax on expected session t variable in line 3 let's make let's find out what the mistake is here and there is no mistake as a matter of fact it's a mistake right here we need to put a semicolon there right don't forget that all right so now we are on session one, right? And now if we go, this session has been, this value has been put in there already, all right? So keep that in mind. We have this in an associative array already available, and we're going to be echoing this stuff here out. So let's go to the second page now, and the message should be there. We click Enter, and of course we need to fix that error there, that semicolon. I'm sorry about that, guys. There we go. You see that? So that message was transferred over to the, right so if I come here and I change the message go to the first one here and I say hello students this is awesome right so I'm just gonna refresh this page that message is already set again and if I go to the second page it gets carry over as you can see here you can use this with forms um, I mean, whatever you want. When you submit uh, information to a database and you want to uh, display a error or something like that, you can use this. This is very useful. But anyway, I don't want to make this video longer than what it needs to be done. This is something very simple. And I think you get the idea about using sessions. It's super easy. You can set any type of value you want. And you can keep track of users across your application. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully that will help you out understand sessions. And I'll see you in the next lecture.